What's up everybody, Jason Page here. Welcome back to another light painting video. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how I created this image right here. I've been on this whole apocalyptic vibe lately, probably because of everything that's been going on in the world in the last two years. But I wanted to create this vision that I've been having of just this woman kind of praying at the end of days, praying down to this angelic being. So I have my friend Dawn come over and shoot with me and this is the image that we created. The tools that I used were the portrait light right here. I used this to illuminate Dawn. I also used a slightly modified version of one of the light pins. This is what I used to create the light writing on Dawn's back. I also used the blue color hood to add a little bit of color to that cotton that you see on the foreground there. And then I used the orange, red, and yellow color hoods to create the silhouette of that angelic being in the image. The only other tool that I used was the black fiber optic and I had a do-it-yourself color filter attached to that with some red, orange, and yellow gels put in it to create a fiery effect. All of the tools were connected via the universal connector to either the Soon Fire DS30 flashlight or the Coast G26 flashlight. There were a couple props that I needed to create this image. Obviously, I've got this giant canvas and that is just a sheet stretched out over a piece of wood. I use that as a light painting canvas. This is the original sheet technique invented by Jason Reinhardt, just kind of my take or interpretation of his technique. I used a bunch of cotton, as you can see on the ground there to create kind of a cloudy look or effect. And then I also used a mannequin with some angel wings on it to create the silhouette of that angelic being in the image. The settings that I used were ISO 100, F5.6, shooting on bulb mode, and the total exposure time for this image was 228 seconds. All right, so the first part of this shot is just making sure Dawn is where she needs to be within the frame. As you see here, I'm just using the portrait light to kind of light up the scene to make sure she's exactly where I want her and all that good stuff. We're gonna go ahead and start the exposure now. Again, settings are ISO 100, F5.6, shooting on bulb mode. Now I'm using the portrait light to illuminate Dawn. It's just a real quick swipe of the light, just to add some light to her and a little bit around where she's sitting. Now I'm coming in and doing the light writing on her back. This was the most difficult part of creating this image in just trying to make sure that the letters were all lined up I'm actually shining the light directly onto her back, but making sure that I'm not in the way of the camera being able to record the light writing that's happening on her back. I had to do this several different times to try to get everything lined up like I wanted it to. Now I'm just using the blue color hood here to illuminate the scene a little bit all around her, just adding in a little bit of color to that cotton. Now I'm gonna go around back behind the big giant sheet and illuminate the scene from behind here. As you can see here, I'm using the red light to illuminate that angelic being. And this again is just that mannequin that I've placed back behind the screen there that has the angel wings on it. Now I'm switching to another color here. I'm using the orange and yellow light, kind of using those together just to add more light overall illumination to this scene. Again, Dawn doing a great job of staying in position the whole time. That was really important here. Now I'm gonna take the black fiber optic and create a bunch of this fiery texture all throughout the entire canvas here to really give that kind of fiery look to this scene. The one thing that I was conscious of here as I'm creating this fiery effect is I didn't want to go over any of the silhouette area where the wings are or the mannequin's body. I was trying to make sure that I stayed on the outside of those shadowy areas. It was a little difficult to do obviously because I'm kind of just guessing where those shadows are and where that silhouette is on the overall canvas, but uh, just staying on the outside of that and making sure that I tried not to add too much light into any of those shadow areas. 
and just going through the entire scene here and adding in a bunch of this texture. I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up now just so you don't have to watch the whole thing, but basically I'm using the black fiber optic directly up against the sheet to create that fiery effect. And that's gonna be it. That'll be the end of the exposure and we'll go ahead and see what we got. That's gonna do it for this one, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial video. If you did, please do give me the thumbs up down below. If you have any questions or comments, put them down in the comment section. And please, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. We're just about at 50,000 subscribers on the channel here, and we would really love to hit that mark. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do hit the button right down below. Thank you guys very much for watching and for the support. And until the next video, get out there and get creative.